How are we doing, folks? The Super Formula Light is heading to Barcelona. A very nice circuit. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's crack on with it. Right then, Barcelona, what a fantastic little circuit this is. F1 does not go here anymore because apparently we're going to a street circuit in Madrid. But anyway, nonetheless, I do like this place quite a lot. It's got very, very, very fast, heavy loading corners. And with that in mind, be careful of your tyres. Now, I did a session here, I think it was about 14 or 16 laps. And my tyres were down to sort of 55% on kind of all four corners. So I was definitely getting the money's worth out of my tyres so bear that in mind when you are coming around here racing just be mindful that towards the end of the race even on a fixed race remember the 20 minute uh, race is probably going to be about 15 laps maybe 15 16 laps depending on the pace of the leaders so bear in mind the tyre wear could be a contributing factor in the fixed race definitely in the open race be cautious about that one but then the open setup might be a little bit kinder on tyres who knows but yeah these corners are very very fun in this very very grippy car that seems to hug onto the tarmac like a scared toddler holding onto its mummy uh, very very nice turn five down here is a little bit tricky because it's tricky in every single car because it's off camber it's backwards it's upside down and going round around the circles so be cautious about that one there's not really too many scary things around the circuit minus the orange sausage curbs avoid them get as close as you can to them but avoid them anyway as we go into the wet it's a different kettle of fish it you staying off the, it's the normal things stay off the racing line where it's rubbery because it's it's very very slippery in the wet stay off the curbings and white lines are dangerous and there is a pit exit white line going down the main straight so be cautious about that you will will spin on it so leave that well alone straddle it do whatever you want with it just don't stick a tire on it you'd be fine now through these fast ish corners be careful of snap over steers that you can see here just go over there and you get a weird you have to be prepared for the snap oversteer. These are fast corners. We're kind of getting on the limit of aero at some of these points where the aero is working. So if we get a little slip on the tires and the aero disappears off, because obviously now we're sort of going sideways through the 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 airflow let's say it, you, you, yeah everything gets light and you will you will have to be on top of this so be careful of that watch my throttle inputs around some of these corners as well because you are managing the throttle quite heavily so be cautious about that anyway these are the weather sessions on both sessions that i opened i want the weather sessions to be fixed because as i say i open the whole session i don't want to get in wetter or drier through the series so i want it to say fixed track conditions as best i can and then you can decide what you want to do between a very very nice dry circuit and a moderate circuit as well because moderate to me seems very very heavy rain because there's lots of puddles around but anyway those are the two extremes and that's what we're using if this did help you out don't forget to like and subscribe and i love your youtube stuff otherwise yeah let's crack on with it right then here we go for the dry layout first of all and it's a very very long run from the last corner which is nearly flat out spoiler uh, down into turn one so slipstream will be a massive thing around here but we're looking for the little service road after the 100 meter mark and we're breaking in a straight line a little bit of curb be careful there isn't on track off track on entry and you want to get as close as you can to that yellow sauce curb without touching it easy flat through this one just a little tickle of the curb on the way through and try and get as far left as you can to really open up this really sort of kind of flat turn three that isn't flat you just have a lift there get the nose turning in towards the curb again and then let the car drift out naturally try and not crank on the steering too much and heat up them front tires try and be as minimal uh, on the steering angle because it improves acceleration as well and you're, you're in an acceleration zone so that's what you want to do the very awkward turn four so brake just under the bridge as we come to it. You can use the shadow on the ground or you can use the bridge if it isn't there. Brake and turn in nice and early. Get to the curb quite early and then feed in the power. You get fantastic rotation if you actually dip a tyre onto it. So be cautious of the rear end stepping out and then let the car drift out wide naturally. And then just where you get under this marker, start diagonaling the circuit over to the right hand side. Braking marker is when you sort of can see down into the corner. So brake downhill so don't lock up again. And then when you turn in second gear for this one, be very, very patient. Don't get on throttle too early because it is a narrow narrow exit here and if you run too far wide you will get an off track you see i kept on the steering angle there because i just got on throttle a little bit too early and didn't get the initial rotation coming to this very awkward turn seven turn eight now and you're braking at the start of the curb in there on the right hand side so brake a little dab down in a gear as well loads of apex curb if you can and all you're doing is trying to miss that yellow sausage curb there if you go over that it will hurt a lot so bear that in mind ruin front wings and all sorts of spin out use the curbing here on the left hand side as you turn in work park up when it turns when it ends you turn in again Apex after that little yellow sausage chipolata thing there you can call it and be careful of the off track there on exit as well it is very easy to get particularly in the wet but you can get it in the dry as well coming down to the hairpin now this is the big hairpin so not the tight one so remember we can break it later than we think so we're using the 
weird gantry thing over there that's probably should have advertising thing on it you can use the shadow again but break in a straight line little tickle of the curb just here and then once you get to that point nail the power you can, you can actually get a lot of grip through here and be careful about spinning out because it might happen if your tires a little bit hot but full throttle should through there you should be absolutely fine over to the left hand side now and you're using this curb as a marker so our braking point now we want to brake on the way into the corner because we want to go sort of mid track and then we want to keep slowing down the car and you see i missed the apex i want to get next next that yellow sausage curb again because i'm compromised on exit here and i want to get a good exit because the second to last corner now is absolutely flat out so end of the curbing just turn in don't cut it too much because there is a slowdown out there which is really really annoying but it's easily flat so don't worry about that one and then we're getting ready for the last corner probably the most important corner on the circuit as the curb ends there on the left hand side a little lift on the brake little tick over the apex curb and get on power as early as you can try not to scrub the tires and too much steering angle again because you need that straight line speed down this straight and that is us done and dusted and what a fun circuit in this car so rain time right then the pour in rain or moderate as i racing call it i, I really do think the uh that it needs to be this is heavy rain to me there's, there's puddles everywhere and there's a giant film across the circuit but anyway we are breaking for turn one and we're breaking at the 100 meter marker there off the racing line as always and we want to go very very deep into this corner we don't want to get anywhere near that lake on that curbing there so we want to go around the racing line there it does feel very weird but you can do it and be careful of this river that crosses the track there it can catch you up if you're still rotating the car so try and go over it straight line but again off the racing line and you should be absolutely fine first lap is very sketchy on cooler tires you have to get them warmed up and this corner here turn three is not flat but we're trying to stay away from the massive river on the apex curb all the way over there and you want to get on the nice rubbery stuff all the way out here be careful of this green astro turfy stuff out there i touch it and i i'm yeah very very close to spinning there so do not go anywhere near that you should be absolutely fine again breaking point for this is similar to the dry you want to use the bridge that we're going under right now again you can break the same point as you can in the wet in the dry sorry because you want to go into the corner you don't want to hit the apex you want to get away from it you still have a little snap of over steer there just trying to rotate the car too much on entry but i want to get all the way out here and be careful when we cross the racing line as it were you see have another little wiggle there of snap of over steer that's what i'm getting on the racing line again and still trying to rotate the car so be cautious turn five now this breaking point again you want to sort of as you go over the dip you can see down again break all the way out to the outside of the corner and you see here i should have gone a little bit wider here because again we're getting too close to that rubber line and we have a little bit of snap. It's not too bad. It's quite a slow corner, but you just need to be prepared for that rear end stepping out on you. Try and get on acceleration as soon as you can and avoid the exit curb because you have to avoid all curbs in the wet. And I normally stay middle of the circuit for this one. So keep it to the left hand side here and it'll benefit you through this one. Now this one, you want to stay on the racing line in your head but it's completely wrong because there is so much grip just out here so you want to go around that puddle and miss it completely you say understeer get onto this rubbery side here and then the car turns i'm a little bit too close to this curb and a little bit dip here because i get a snap of oversteer as you saw on the intro so please bear that in mind i'll try and go around it you'll be better off there you're using the curb here as a marker for a big lift and again you want to avoid that curb on apex as best you can there is a ton of grip out here so go and find it just be very very careful about running too far wide here on this curb all curbs in the wet are slippery as anything so just be cautious to avoid it coming down to the hairpin now again it's the same one as before because obviously it's the same track guide and we want to break in the middle of the circuit now this is going to be an overtaken opportunity for kind of the wrong reasons if you're on the racing line you will sail off into the gravel trap straight ahead so you don't want to be on the racing line and also look at my line through here it's it's different from the dry because I go very very wide here because there seems to be a lot of grip out here and I can get on full throttle relatively early so if you're out here you're probably going to get out you, you're going to out drag people through there this corner same principle again you want to use the curbing on the left hand side and you want to break nice and deep into the corner and you want to stay as wide as you can without touching that green sort of concrete stuff out there and you want to kind of bring it back to the yellow sausage curb there but again be careful because you get into the racing line and be careful of the rear end snapping out as you can see there i'm a little bit twitchy a little bit of a snap there as well curb on exit avoid it as well that's also going to be on marker so when the curbs there big lift let the car drift into the corner there is grip away from the curb so trust that it'll go around again this is on warmer tires so colder tires be extra extra cautious you are using the end of the yellow sausage curb now so you want to dab a brakes again don't turn in too early you want to avoid i mean look at that ocean there on the apex curb it's absolutely huge avoid it completely and again just be careful a little bit of snap over steer as you come over the rubbery line but that is us done and dusted in the wet so very very challenging in the wet because of these far sort of corners uh, but yeah good luck out there right you cheeky little sausages thank you very much for tuning in hope this track i did help you out to improve your lap time because that is the ultimate aim of the game to get a little bit quicker if it did help you out don't forget to like and subscribe and i love youtube stuff otherwise i will catch you on the track